Hi guys, Robert Arwise, checking again with the Bayside Property News. Reviewing auctions in November across a Brian network, there were 101 auctions across 47 suburbs, which produced a clearance rate of 81%, with average days on market being 25. Across the market for the week, there were 1,497 auctions scheduled, with 805 selling, producing a very healthy clearance rate of 78.3%. In market news this week, the Reserve Bank has decided to keep rates on hold. The next likely move will be in February 2020. This week we have received some healthy property news. CoreLogic this week released its November Home Price Index and the market rose sharply by 1.7% nationally. The biggest rise in 16 years with Melbourne Sydney leaving the charge with the most growth of all capital cities. In contrast, building approval numbers released yesterday for October showed a decline of 8.1%, which is in trend continues only place pressure on future supply to push up the price of real estate. So overall, the economy is slowly recovering with business confidence rising in October as reported by ANZ Bank. And our international trade now is in surplus by $7.9 billion. So there are many more signs, positive signs for 2020. Next week in our property news, we'll release all the information on the options available to first home buyers from the 1st of January 2020. And lastly, in closing and a little off topic, private health insurance extras are due to expire on the 31st of December. This means your benefits will reset and any unused extras not claimed are wasted. So it might be worth checking your balance and booking an appointment. I have just listed one of the biggest opportunities left in 2019 in the heart of Brighton. Number 66, 68 and 70 Black Street on 2,200 square metres approximately in the growth zone. This property will not last long. Please call me for further information. Until next week, I'm Robert Iowais.